In case you didn't follow along with the Jennifer Crumbly trial, she was the mother of the Oxford school shooter, which was in Michigan in 2021. He shot and killed four people, injured seven others. He was 15 years old. The issue here is they had bought him a gun two days before and he had drawn pictures on his schoolwork. He'd been, so they had been called to a meeting in, their, in the office of the school and told, you know, he needs help today um, if they could take him home or take him to get therapy. Um, and they said, you know, no less than 48 hours, otherwise they were gonna call child services. But they said they had to go back to work, which they didn't. The dad had lost his job. He was an Uber Eats driver, and the mom was a marketing director who had complete flexibility, including she could have taken her son back to work with her. Um, the boss even testified. So also he had a journal about all of his intentions. He had one friend, and the friend had just moved away. His mom knew he was depressed. In his journal, he talked about telling his parents he was um, needing help and that they laughed at him. The mother was having an affair, clearly not paying attention to her son at the time. But I would say the biggest thing is they had bought him a gun two days before. And then they see a drawing identical um, of gun violence on his schoolwork with that gun. And they failed to tell the school that, hey, we just bought him a gun. You know, no one suggested they maybe check his backpack or anything like that. Of course, the school had no idea he had a gun. And what the parents were thinking is, you know, beyond. They didn't lock it up. They, <laughs> it's just crazy. And there's a lot more to it, but um, they think maybe he was having delusions, you know, like a mental break with reality. He was saying something about seeing demons. And, you know, they showed in trial multiple times where he had um, text the mom how he was seeing things. And, you know, she didn't even respond to any of that. So, yeah, so she was found guilty today after a seven-day trial and of four counts of involuntary manslaughter because at some point you are going to be held accountable for your child's criminal actions if the negligence is enough, you know. I meant to mention also that they did try to flee once they knew they were being charged. So they, they were acting really guilty from the moment they found out it happened because I think they knew that they could see this coming. Also, um, this is your friendly reminder that if you do have kids, lock up your guns.